Hey everyone, this is Brian with Westcott Woodworks again. I'm going to be making a video today showing you how to make shiplap siding. I'm actually going to be using it as an interior wall here in my shop just so I can hang some things in between the studs since uh, I don't have any interior walls. Um, but it's it's going to be made out of knotty white pine, which what this is, I just bought from a big box store. These are one by sixes, uh, which the actual dimensions is three quarter by five and a half. Um, and you can use whatever you want. If you want to use poplar, oak, some exotic wood, doesn't matter. If it's wood, you can make it out of this. This cut here and this cut down here are both three-eighths of an inch deep into the board. Then you're going to have the tongue on each opposing side is going to be different, which is going to leave this little shadow line in here. Um, on mine, I did a half inch on one side and a quarter inch on the other side, uh, and it gives it that nice bead going down it. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use the Freud um, rabbit bit set. It's got all the different bushings you need to make this. And I'm also going to show you how to do it on a table saw with a dado set in case you don't have one or the other. Um, Freud makes both of these, and, and they're carbide tips, and they, they do very well at this. So hang with me here, and we'll get started. All right, well, I've got pretty much everything set up the way I want it to be. Uh, obviously I've got the bit installed, I've got the power unplugged still. Um, this is that rabbiting bit, it's got the bushing on there so that when I make a cut it's going to go a half inch into the board uh, which is going to be this cut right here uh, and I set the height so that it's going to cut into it uh, three-eighths of an inch deep here. So it's going to go a half inch this way, three-eighths of an inch this way um, I may have to fine tune it a little bit. I haven't done a test piece yet. Um, and then after we cut all of the edges uh, for this size, we're going to cut the other one, which is going to be a quarter inch thick uh, or deep into the board. And then uh, again, three eighths. The reason being, this is a three quarter inch thick board. Uh, half of three quarters, three eighths. So when these two pieces fit up together, uh, these the tongue and the groove there. Um, are going to line up so we'll have a flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut just a little bit into this and it takes some measurements to make sure I've got the right distance and, and height that I need. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, if you were to look down there, I've got a groove that goes into the board this way, a half inch, and it goes down this way, uh, three-eighths of an inch. Um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut this edge on all my other boards that I'm going to do now that I have this set up to the right, um, to, to the right measurements. Now with this Freud rabbiting bit um, set, obviously... I've got it set up. I just cut that half inch deep uh, rabbit, but it's nice because it comes with all the different bits. You can do all the way up to a flush trim bit, uh, all the way down to what I have now, which is cutting a, a half inch deep. Um, we're not going to adjust the height any. I've got it set for three eighths of an inch. So all we're going to do is swap out this bit or this bushing for that bushing uh, to do quarter inch. So I'm going to do that and cut my boards. All right, I've got my two pieces cut. Um, now again, all I did to cut the different rabbits, I set the, the height that I wanted the bit to be, and all I did to change the depth that it cut in was just swap out that bushing with the little Allen key. You don't have to adjust anything else other than uh, the fence a little bit and your feather board just since it's cutting in uh, not quite as deep, um, but you don't have to change the height or anything. And obviously you can see this is the the look that we were going for. Uh, those fit in there together nicely. And then you'll have that little shadow line um, that makes up the shiplap. 
I'm going to go ahead now and set up uh, with the table saw and the dado blade to show you another way you can make this. All right, I've got my table saw unplugged, the dado set installed. Um, I'm using the Freud 6 inch dado set. Uh, the big thing about the 6 inch versus the 8 inch is on a small saw like this one is, it doesn't have all that extra power. Uh, so using the 6 inch allows it to, to spin faster uh, and not bog down as easy as it would with an 8 inch set. Um, two ways you can set this up, you can use an auxiliary fence and move your fence way in here, bury the blade in the fence. Obviously you'd need to put more uh, cutters on there than that um, to do it that way. I don't do, do it that way, uh, it's just easier for me um, to go ahead and, and plan for cutting a five and a half inch wide board like I normally do. Um, so being that this is five and a half inches wide, if I set this fence up at five and a half inches, take a tape out, measure, that's actually a five and five eighths of an inch. The reason being is these saws are zeroed out um, for an eighth inch blade. So you gotta subtract an eighth inch from your measurement. So if I wanna cut five and a half right to the edge here of this board, I need to set this fence to five and three eighths, which is what I'm gonna do. Now if you measure here, it's gonna read five and a half. And then if I were to hold this board up here, it's gonna cut just to the edge of that board. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do, lower the blade in there so that it cuts up just three eighths of an inch. And now I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut my boards that I need cut. And here is the finished product uh, that we've got here. Um, if I weren't to tell you which one was which, uh, you wouldn't really be able to tell which one was cut on the table saw versus the router table. Um, if you're cutting a whole bunch of it, uh, obviously you want to use feather boards and all that stuff, maybe something to hold the workpiece down. But um, both of them are relatively easy. Once you set up for one cut, just cut all you need on that side before you tear down and set up for the other side but I'm gonna snap a few pictures after I get uh, this stuff installed so you can see what it looks like when it's done thanks for watching and uh, click on the links below and you can uh, like my Facebook page and uh, check out some of the things I have for sale in my Etsy shop